Hello and welcome back. This is the Let's Play series for The Surge 2 Part 7. This is a blind playthrough where each episode of the series is continuous through to the end of the game. So let's get started. And we are... Well, so we've gone through a bit of the harbour and kind of done a full circle back to where we started off. Uh, we've unlocked a few new areas and a few more, a few more uh, side paths to uh, explore. We did obtain a... Um, a key item as well, which I do believe is for one of the side quests, which we found, uh, uh, you know, kind of early on in this area. So I think to start off with, we're going to go back and try and see what happens when we hand that in. Uh, so let's do some leveling up as well. Kind of need to get a bit more uh, core power so we can hopefully upgrade some things. Um, I should have probably saved a bit of scrap to see if we could have made any weapons or armor pieces. Uh, so. What do we have here? So we have the Volta, body gear, headgear, arms. We don't have the legs though. We haven't acquired that. We've got the full scavengers set. Um, so we're running like uh, three parts of each of those. The Volta and the scavengers. Um, we've started to unlock pieces of this, which is the Spark Aspirants gear. Uh, so let's go through. So partial set bonuses reduces the duration of poison affliction, which would be pretty handy in this area. And full set bonus increases attack speed while affected by poison. Um, okay, that's pretty nice. And then we've only got the arms for this. So partial set bonus increases the duration of poison applied to enemies. And full set is increased damage and impact while afflicted by poison. Okay. Um. Okay. So I'm guessing because this is like a pretty like toxic area, there are like poison pools in there. I'm guessing this kind of set will be kind of handy in this area. So we might, and of course, like the defense is like arms is a slightly higher um and this one is going to be much much higher so they've all i probably like should have gone through this as well so like each uh, piece of gear has different attributes so the body is going to be well that's not got any on there so if I've got that equipped, that might be a good idea to swap that out. Uh, so stamina consumption minus 8%. So they've got like little bonuses on each piece of gear. Uh, this is... Okay. So... I think we might have the uh, scavenger's body gear actually. Or did we change that? I don't know. So, and each headpiece has got a kind of like different attribute to damage for unarmored and armored um, attack points. So that one's just a minus in both areas. That's just a minus in unarmored. That's a plus in unarmored. Uh, so that'll be quite a good piece to equip, try and equip. And uh, with these, it's impact and attack speed. Okay. They're both on minuses. So generally, we're kind of like assuming that heavier pieces of gear are going to give more impact uh, damage but less attack speed. Um, and obviously the lighter ones, more attack speed, less impact. But I'm running that at the minute. 5% is quite a bit compared to... I mean, it's an upgrade regardless of what we have. So we might try and make some of the. I think like some of these are going to be pretty good to have, uh, including the set bonus as well. And legs is just stamina cost for evade, okay. And stamina cost to run. And obviously less with the heavier stuff. So, um, yeah, we might try and uh, grind a few pieces of gear and try and make some upgrades to these, because they. Uh, because some of these are going to be. Uh, a lot more useful 
than others. Um, and of course, this is the last weapon we got, which we are, I'm kind of liking the playstyle of this. It's um, yeah, energy gain 35%, could be higher, stamina consumption 95%, it does nano damage, and attack speed is 110%, which makes this a fast weapon. We also have this one. I should check the impact on that 15 impact. It says 18 impact. Uh, so it looks like it does slightly more damage. Um, so attack speed 106%, energy gain 60%, stamina consumption 140%, and electricity damage 22 Um Yeah, so just a slightly... Well, this one's a slightly faster weapon with less stamina consumption. Pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to carry on using this for a bit. We've got our... Oh, we don't put our points in 20 minutes. So we've got 10 modular points available, which is good. So I want to tr try and kind of like round these off a bit. So we are... That's not very much of a gain. Uh, 400, 200. And let's just boost that up to 155. 161. 13, 15, 10. Yeah, that's uh, quite an acceptable level. Um, just check. I don't think we unlock any more um, extra slots until we get. Does that. Uh, so another level and then we'll unlock one more slot so I think that is corresponding to the level of the rig that we have um, so once we're at level 90 we'll unlock all the uh, implant slots so we are we're good for now so we're gonna work on getting to level 30 so we can like equip that toxic filter which will help us through this through this area and then work on getting some more uh, some more parts to our gear as well. We want some different. I should have seen which ones we wanted to get then, but. Here we go. Mad Johnny. Just gonna kill him off. Oh, we're, oh they we're already full. With our injections. I should have tried to see if we could improve that as well. We'll try and do that on the next run. Can we get this guy's attention? Not moving at all. Slide in, take that out, kind of move out the way. Set those two out, and then we just got this guy to deal with. Let's try some air. I'm gonna take this guy down. Too well with that. Uh, crap. Uh, okay, so those energy chargers should go into my heal. So we can take that one out and then we should have full uh rich full a uh, full three rechargers left. Once it runs out. Um, so I'm not going to bother with this guy. Off. Well, I kind of want one of these, want these to absorb into my bloody heal. Oh, 
so hard to get that. Now there is like a little spider thing down here as well we want to take out just because they do like exploding damage so we could probably just go jump on that thing. Not a big deal. Just can't seem to get that. That timing right. So we've cleared the way to this place again. I think the the item that we picked up is for this quest. I could be wrong. How's the spare part hunt going, sweetheart? Okay, here's your bear. Mm. Without you, a lot of people would have gone hungry tonight. Your reward is waiting in the cooling chamber. Don't be shy now, sweetheart. You learned every little bit. I'll be with you in a second, okay? This is like uh, this sounds like really dodgy. I think she's gonna try and kill me or something. It's and there's someone banging on that door. Um. Welcome to Penny Grinder, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell? Kind of like figured something like that was gonna happen. All right, so I guess we like go back and finish her off, maybe. Let's dance. Oh, yep. His key. Let's get them weapons. Alco saw ultra. Um Clinge? <laughs> Alco saw ultra, one handed. <coughs> this is just like an upgraded version of the Valco saw. Which is this? Yeah, so it's the one-handed, like, sword. Bigger kind of thing, and it's just kind of, like, left one there. Oh, look at some of these attacks. But yeah, those are kind of the same. But we're going back to our... Sorry? Is this it? I'm just... I've got so many... Yeah, that's the one. We're going to take some of these off uh, our list. Because we've got... Oh, let's put it on. So we've got... Because we've got quite a few on here that we are probably not going to use. Because um, we seem to have our favourites just... I'll just, actually, I'm just going to add that one in. Alright, so... So that one's a lockdown. I'm just wondering if we can open this. Yeah. Don't eat me, please! I'm not going down without a fight! Wait. 
you're not, then... What the hell is going on here? She lured me and my boyfriend inside and... Dis disemboweled him right in front of my eyes. Damn bitch said she was gonna keep me for dessert. I thought I was a goner for sure. Uh, I suppose... I should give you some kind of reward for saving me. Um, don't worry, Shell. No. Someone's got to make up for for what Penny did. I have nowhere left to go, but maybe, maybe I can make a difference right here. Ah, uh, all right. I just. You can tell as soon as you walk in that voice is it's like really ominous. It's like a creepy, like a witchy voice. Like, come here, little child. Prime meat. That was probably her boyfriend. You. You saved me from this crazy slaughterhouse. Ah, uh, yes, I did. Okay, so I'm kind of glad I brought them out on this one. I did. Because um, they probably. I'm just wondering as well if there would have been more options to. Could have like unlocked some more. So that's still. Locked. Uh, to unlock any more items from that woman. Where is this leading from? There's like a. The. Uh, I'm just wondering, because there's like a... I mean, like, we can't go any further in this place. Or maybe it's, like, a bit further in. Um, so, where do we get to? We got up here. There's that guy jumping down. There's a turret here. Some of those things in the water. Uh, a big ass thing over there. Two guys down there. So we don't need to worry about these just yet. There is a patrol guy. Around here somewhere. We'll just take him out. Get healed. So 128 health from that heal now, instead of like 80, I think it was 80 before. Oh crap. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the other areas that we didn't go into. So we didn't go... Jesus. gonna carry on over here. This guy's gonna drop down hopefully. There we go. Oh crap. Oh no. Got down. So yeah, like I'm, I'm blocking, but I'm guessing they're like, uh, depending on weapon type, they like can go through your block to damage you. So we should be able to go this way now, just to quickly get back to where we were. So, if we go this way... Fuck. Take him out, just to be sure. So these combos are pretty mean. Looks like we can... Take a lot of people out with that. Let's Get this guy to come down again. Take our body part. Ah, 
Let's go into rage mode. Oh my god. And I'm losing the battle. Oh. oh, this game absolutely punishes you if you do not get the right time in. <laughs> ah, we are going to kill this guy because he's not winning. He is not going <laughs> to defeat us again. That is it. He is going down. That's my mission in this video is to take that guy out. So I do want to make sure I take this guy out as well because he could potentially just run up behind me and destroy me while I'm killing this guy. Yeah, get a battery in there. This this guy, man, it's just his bloody stupid saw blades. I'm just well, it's timing. It's it's the block timing which is getting me. So it's that little window. But yeah, it's just cutting through. Get back. Uh, and again. <laughs> no way. Pick up those. Oh, crap. Need to get a bit of space. Recover. Take him out. That is dangerous. That guy is about to tear through me. Um, so we've been. So we had a look. Where do we have a look? We had a look up here. And did we go that far? I don't think we did. We did. We got an item from there. It's kind of like a jumping plot. Okay. That's how we get up onto that ledge. And then we also went down, which does the full circle. So we've been all the way down there. We've got our weapon. There's just like two kind of areas that we can go at the minute. One of them being over here. Taking out this thing. And this up. Um, I think that's it. Just that tiny little bit. Can't go that way, so we go underneath. Oh, that's another one of those big weapons. So this has got a big combo, so we need to get back. Oh no. He's got enraged as well. Nice. Got a schematic for his body. Uh, it's like if you can get those um, those blocks off, you can get them timed. Then this game is going to be fairly easy. Oh, new implant. Let's have a look at this. Um, I just went to a different loadout. Uh, so yeah, in this game you get like three slots to uh, do do some different loadouts for different situations, and they'll be saved in those in those slots. So you don't have to reconfigure every time. Um, so we might make some different different loadouts later on, which we'll, once I've got a bit more core power to to play with. Uh, but for now, we're just going to keep it simple. So, sustaining array increases the duration that uh, battery will persist before decaying. Okay. But again, I'm not really too I'm bothered about that at the minute because we have the automatic heals. Um, so, that's just going to go straight onto my heal at the minute. So, we've got two heals. Uh, so the question is, where do we go from here? We have kind of... We've gone this way. Cool. 
not want to go that way because that looks like certain death by dropping down there. Um, but we want this. This is kind of like the other side of that area. So. Yeah, so we've been through all that. So it's this way. Oh god, I keep switching that. It's down. There's nothing there. Nothing around here. We've got four charges of our heal at the minute. Um, two of these guys. Just go in for the kill. Take them out, no fuss. I don't think there's really any need to, oh, so I kind of need to like read up, oh Jesus, oh, lots. this is back to the streets, this is all poison area, I think, although that path in the middle, oh Jesus, what the f hell is that thing? Um, okay, what is up here? <laughs> Let's have a look up this way first. Hopefully there'll be some kind of way back to a safe area if we make it. Oh crap. Keep going. Got like pause in there for a second. Um get this guy. How was that? Oh it's a it's a spider turret. Oh, we can cut this guy off. <clears throat> cut this arm off, get some more materials for upgrades. That will... Oh, we'll keep going. Okay, so I guess I need each one of these is just to point out that we're getting a bit closer and that we're on the right direction. Well, it stands in poison then. Um, we could drop down at them parts. Quite a few holes, so I guess I was trying to make us come down a bit. Ship graveyard. Whoa! All right, pal. Get a head action around here. I'm just gonna try. Did you even get the chance to do a block then? Just taking out all my energy. I kind of want to be in a safe place to take this guy out. I'm going to go into hyper mode. Have the next one actually. It's so hard to get that parry without getting hit. I don't know what's going to be around this corner. Oh. Crap. There are quite a few places in this game as well which kind of like put you off a bit and make you, not make you, but kind of like have little drop zones. Oh man, this guy. So we're just gonna oh what's this? Interact. Uh okay. <laughs> just
Hacks offline. Okay. There's kind of a, a secret area to take that turret down. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, well, there's a place down there to drop down to. Got two beasties. Um, just have a look back in this room, see what we've got. Drug manufacturing. Could be like another little secret area. I'm, I'm, uh, okay, there's a thing down there. A lift hook. Okay, so I'm guessing that's that's a bit to progress because that looks like it's a hub for a boss area or something. And so I've seen that. Kind of just gonna have a look, a little look down here, see what's going on. Just so many little areas to this place. There's quite a few guys down here. We just kind of want to take some of these out one by one. I think we've aggroed this guy. Look at that bodysuit. I think we're going to go for the, for the body armor here. Oh, wrong way. Whoa, and we're dead. What? The? <laughs> okay. Wow. That guy was like beastly. So we're going to have to fight our way back to that point. Um, especially since we've got like 9k scraps on the line, we kind of want to get there in one piece. So we can reclaim them back. But I felt like we're doing pretty well in that area up until the last part. Um, so we're going down here. Let's put our light on again. The two women over here. Put these down. Alright. Get a bit of recovery going. Just fly up around here. Uh, so this is where we were anyway, and... We can. I just wanted to pick up that item that was down here. So is that thing still offline? It looks like it is. So we would be able to progress through there, but we're just on our way for our, for our scraps first. Like, get this bitch out. Um, I keep forgetting these like little things that pop up. I wish they would just be a bit more um, just appear a bit sooner. Um, get rid of this guy. Should have gone to use that for the next area, but oh well. Take that out. So I just want to get ooh, something behind there as well. Omni cells come in handy in the next part. So let's not, not mess about, let's just get these back. Who are we pulling? I don't want to get one of these guys. These are all level 3s though. Got to hit him over there again. These are pretty tough enemies. <coughs> We're going for body. Alright, get out of there because this guy, this guy's armor is solid. Get 
out of there. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> what the hell? No block. Alright. Just coming closer and closer. Oh. Got to move, move out of the way straight away for this guy. Oh, man. That guy. That guy is. So I'm guessing all of these are going to be pretty solid. They're all going to be level threes down here. I'm guessing. Oh, that guy's level two. He's okay. And then there's this one. He's level three. Um, yeah, so I think I've aggroed, yeah, I've aggroed that guy. Poison, get out of that. Get up. Oh, Jesus. Let's just cut him up. Finish that. I could have just recovered and kept that battery. Um, that battery charged out, which would have probably been a smarter idea. Because we've got exploding guys over there. I've got. So that's the. Top side. Is that just a battery charge? I think I might just grab that quickly. Still gonna be poison up here. Jump over there. Alright, let's just get that battery charge, recover up a bit. And then we'll continue on down there. Jump over here. So we're hit by the poison. Attention, attention! All able-bodied females under say eh, 25. I'm in dire need of some good entertainment tonight. Drop by to earn yourself free lodging, a hot meal, all the blue sparkle you can shake a stick at, and a fear of consenting uh, boyfriend will be with you through thick and thin. Come to Terminal Z and trade the gutter for my bed tonight. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Right. Oh my god, this guy. God, I'm so gonna be dead on the next hit. Um, I could try and take it through really slowly, but these guys are just gonna jump at us. Uh, there's two guys. Two guys there. Um, yeah, we've got 12k scraps. I think we're gonna. a bit more this oh we could all right no point in just going all the way back now so we've got this guy here we can sneak up we can smack this guy around a bit and get one health charge from him oh um like either way i think i might be it's gonna be hard to recover from this place. There's that area that I kind of want to like check to see what's happening down there, but there's two big beast guys. Um, I'm gonna heals. That's my only issue. There's quite a lot of enemies down that way. 
Um, let's just head back this way for now. I feel like this is the less like here. It wouldn't matter too much if I... Um, oh, or it's coming in. Coming this way. It's already. Absolutely destroyed. But it's good. We're in a safe is <laughs> safeish position. Oh god. But I almost could have like taken him out as well. Ugh. All right. Yeah. Just kind of that, you know, that risk re reward area kind of thing where we've got a lot of scraps. Continue, we're gonna get have a lot more, but that's that's why I kind of like brought it back a bit so we can easily recover if we die, then we won't have too far to to go to get them back, rather than having like everyone to take out again. God, stamina back. Some <laughs> get my tech scraps back, and then we can go into this place and distract him. Maybe get most of his health down as well. While he gets mine down. New implant. Have a look at this one. Manslayer. Increases damage dealt, dealt to organic humanoids. Yeah. So these, it uh, looks like these are the types of enemies we'll be facing. So we've got human, robotic, and nano. And we've got the head. Head schematic. Which is brilliant for the, like, heavy spark gear. So for these, I mean, do we just go... Take them all out like that. Yeah. Okay. So as long as we avoid these like dark green area or light green areas, we should be good for well anything really. Right, so we've got two big beasties there protecting that. Fresh, delicious meat. Pennies, fresh, delicious meat. Which is why they try to uh, cut us up. Um, so we could. These are bloody bruises as well. They're both level three. And they're both coming for me. That was probably a bad idea. Oh look, see what's around here. Scraps. Um Right. So that's gonna be Look at the area. There's gonna be a boss in there, no doubt. And that's probably where that's gonna be where little Johnny is. Oh god, there's so many different uh, directions that we could go. Um, where does this take us? Right, to these guys. So either way, we're going to be taking on these guys with their huge bloody weapons. So... Oh, let's take that off. Some more on me cells. Always appreciated. Gotta be careful that nothing's gonna like jump out 
like out of these toilets or something. Oh god, you just caught me. Heal up. Alright, run. Damn it, I haven't got a heal left, so I'm going to need to get her. Got one heal. Still haven't got any left for a heal. Oh, God. Okay. New implants. What is deflection energy converter? When an enemy attack is successful directionally, oh, when an enemy attack is successfully directionally blocked, additional energy is gained. Okay, that's nice if we could actually get a directional block on these things. But yeah, so far we're having a bit of a struggle just to. Uh, get the right timing for it. So that is that area which uh, we were looking at. The two big beefy guys. Fifteen uh, k tech scraps, and we are kind of like overrunning a bit. So get poisoned. Get that from Omni cells. Um, I reckon as well that there is. Like, as soon as we go up here, there's going to be, like, a kind of a shortcut from this area. Could be completely wrong. What the hell? No, it's just the next way forward, which is kind of, like, activating these guys to attack me. Brilliant. Uh, that's just a box up there. All right, yeah. So, we're going to be a bit of a coward here. Uh, run back. Save our tech scraps. We got 15k, which is uh, quite a bit. And then. Yeah, end the video, because we've been going on for quite a while now. And we still have two areas that we can go. Obviously, where the bridge went up is the way we need to go to progress. And there's also that bit at the bottom, which we didn't fully explore, so we've got that route to take as well. Um, but hopefully we can get some upgrades in here so we can last a bit longer, get some more uh, health charges and a bit of a health increase. And yeah, uh, so we're still progressing. We're progressing at a slowish rate, but we're taking it all in. We're absorbing it, trying to see the, the, all the different directions that we can go, try and cover any hidden objects in him. Uh, you know, implants, armor pieces, weapons. Uh, trying to you know. Try to get the full experience from this game, which I think is, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it anyway. Uh, sorry, I'm going to continue to do the whole series because it's fun. I'm loving it. So uh, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching this far. And if you would like to show your support for the channel, please click the like and subscribe buttons at the bottom of this video. I've also started streaming on Twitch. So if you would like to watch me live, then please follow the link in the description below where you can find my streaming schedule and follow me to see when I go live. Thanks again and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.